Now for the assembly drawings. Question one, right? It asks you to says figure one on one of the enclosed sheets. So on on a board of the paper. Show the first angle orthographic projection details of the part that make up a movable arm assembly. So the drawings that go with this question would have to be the one that is titled movable arm assembly, which is which is this called under control assembly. No, so this one would be the movable arm assembly. Right? I will rotate it after a while and show you. So this is the movable arm assembly. So this drawing will have to go with it. You can find you can um, ask me to email you a copy of this past paper. Alright, so, mm -hmm. so the movable arm assembly. In assembly, the arm, which is part one, is mounted into the base, part two. The fulcrum pin, part three, is then inserted through the base and the arm, base and the arm and secured should be based off the arm and secured with a m24 nut m meaning metric 24 diameter so metric diameter nut and the nut is part four the arm can be rotated through 90 degrees between point b and point o so we'll take a look at the drawing and see what is asking us to do so the parts are numbered rotate so we can see that the parts are numbered, right? And it says that the base is part two, the arm is part one, item one, item two. This is the fulcrum pin, right? And then the nut goes onto here. This is M24 and the nut is M24. So it tells you that the nut goes onto the end of the pin or the bolt. So the pin, the fulcrum pin allows for rotation for this arm to rotate over this. So basically, What's happening is this base has a holding device, right? Which is these two, these which are these two arms here, right? And these this um arm goes. This is thirty six, and right here is thirty six. You can see the measurement thirty six and thirty six. So it's simple; they coincide. So this thirty six here fits perfectly into this slot here right and this goes into here and can move about 90 degrees so it rotates within here all right so now the, the radius you have to use the radius and the measurements from each view so two views for each item so two views for this one two one view for this and one view for this they usually give you two views because you can't put all the dimensions you need to reproduce the drawing on this part you have to put the dimensions on both so when you're reading the drawing you look on both um, both um, views that you have to interpret and to get all the measurements and dimension that you need. Now, now that you have this, the first thing you can do is figure out what the drawing is asking. You don't want to go ahead and start drawing them because you don't know we don't know what to do yet. So we need first need to figure out how do we approach this. So we go back to the question and read what it's asking us for. So it says here. Draw full size in either first or third angle orthographic projection. So it gives us option. The following view of the assembly when the arm is at rest at point O. So the arm is at rest and they want a full size. Full size mean one to one, scale one to one. So you draw it to the exact measurement that you're given. In either first angle or third angle orthographic projection. So you get to choose which angle of projection you use. A plan showing all hidden details so you have to produce the plan then a full sectional front elevation so you're already given the plan in the in the drawing and you're given the front elevation but not a sectional front elevation a sectional front elevation would be you drawing the front but showing all hidden details as bright line and cutting into the front showing the details that you would normally be able to see so you do a section of the front so you would draw about the plan the front but then section the front all right, show six main dimensions, including length, diameter, radius, and metric screw thread specification. Metric screw thread specification is the same thing as 
you don't use for diameter radius but however it's like you have a m before the diameter of the screw thread or the screw and you can just reproduce one of the dimensions that is given to you that are given to you all right and print the title movable arm assembly and the scale used the scale will be one to one because it says full size and if it says half size this will be two to one or one to two one to two one to two to get it smaller and two to one to get it whatever <laughs> yeah you understand so from one to two meaning i get bigger from two to one meaning i get smaller good because it's it's getting from bigger number to a smaller number from smaller number to a bigger number yeah that's not how them things work so print movable arm print mean in bold print anyway see print so you go write this in bold movable arm assembly and the scale um below it show the autocorrect projection method so i'll show you the solution later um so this is basically what it's asking you to do all of this is the instruction you don't want to do nothing more nothing less so you don't need to draw end elevation just draw the plan and the sectional front make life easy for yourself so we go do that 